The first time you ever touched fly.io might have been through the fly launch command. Now the fly or fly CTL is the command line tool that we provide to help you do all sorts of stuff on the fly platform, right? It's the way to interact with fly.io. Fly launch is the thing that helps you set up your application to get deployed onto fly. It can detect most popular frameworks, create a Docker file, and then help you deploy that application uh, and orchestrating a bunch of stuff on the side, right? Like uh, making it accessible to the world, assigning IP addresses, uh, managing the deployment, and all that good stuff. In fact, fly.io is kind of interesting in that the fly CTL tool, the fly command, is a fat client, right? It's not a thin client wrapping around API calls to the server of fly.io. It is actually a fat client where it does a lot of the work to use Fly's API, its machines API, and orchestrate machines to run deployments with various deployment strategies, right? Like blue, green, rolling, canary, all that good stuff we provide. It manages orchestrating all that stuff for you. This is stuff that you could actually do on your own using API calls and uh, health checks and all that good stuff. Fly CTL just like manages all this stuff for you. And we call that the Fly Launch platform. Heading to my terminal over here for an application that already exists, I can do fly status and forgive the uh, large font size here for readability. But you can see I have this website, fidelver.com. It's launched onto fly.io. It's being served out of four different regions, and it is on the machines platform, which is not to be confused with the older platform called Nomad that used to run on HashiCorp Nomad. It's, that was the scheduler use. Now we have our own thing going on. We call that the machines platform. So Fly, the command line tool, FlyCTL, was used to launch and deploy this application to scale it up into four different regions, to assign IP addresses, to create an SSL certificate, and to auto-generate a fly.toml configuration file, all this stuff that was needed to get onto the Fly platform, right? It just orchestrates that for you. The Fly Machines uh, API in the Machines platform under the hood is just the building block upon which the fly CTL uh, tool did that for us. So we did fly status before. I can do fly machine or just fly m uh, status and to grab a specific machine here, right? I can just copy and paste the machine ID. Uh, and I use the dash d flag here to get JSON output to get uh, the detailed configuration output for a specific machine. We'll see we have some uh, JSON here. And if I head on up here, we'll see that we put some metadata in any machine that is actually managed by FlyCTL that was deployed and built by FlyCTL. So the version of Fly that was used, it's on the V2 platform, that's just the machines platform, and other details specific to the deployment and uh, the allocation of where this specific machine is located, the ID of this machine within our platform. So any uh, machines that are orchestrated by FlyCTL get this metadata on it so you can actually see that uh, this machine is being managed by FlyCTL. It's not being managed uh, out of band by maybe your custom API calls.